You'd better take it easy. We'll get the horse. The mine's caved in. You gotta save that horse. I guess that's the end of the Black Stallion, Mitchell. Yeah, he's buried under a mountain of earth. A fortune in horse flesh, buried alive. Well, anyway, we didn't have to dig a grave for him. We better get you back to the ranch and call a doctor. Oh, I'm all right. We better make sure about that horse. Crawford will throw a fit if he finds out we didn't. Don't be crazy. It'll take a steam shovel to get him out of there. Good morning, Mr. Badley. Good morning, Captain. Where's Miss Dorothy? Miss Dorothy? Well, that strange dog come over here and she followed him off. How long ago was that? Oh, it was about, uh... Hey, look. Why, that's her horse. Something must have happened to her. I'm going to try and find her. What is it, Roy? Easy, old boy. We'll have you free in no time. The world ever drove you into this old mine in the first place. <laughs> the black stallion at the old mine. They're out after him now. Great. When that horse is broken to the saddle, it'll be worth a fortune. You got that box stall reinforced so he won't get away again? Sure. Here they come now. I don't see the black stallion. So you let that stallion get away from you again, eh? We had him cornered in that abandoned mine, Mr. Crawford, when the whole mountain caved in on us. What? You mean he was killed? Couldn't you save him? There's no use. Besides, we had to get Mitchell back to the doctor. What happened to you? Some big wolf dog nearly killed me when I tried to get to that horse. All right, get him in the house and call the doctor. I'd have given every polo pony I own to have that horse in my stable.
Dorothy! What happened? I was worried about you. That beautiful horse was trapped in that old mine. Why, he might have died if the dog hadn't brought me to him. He is a beauty, isn't he? I never saw him around here before. I wonder who owns it. Whoever it is is taking a chance leaving him on the range like this. We better get back to the academy before your father starts worrying about you. Hey, you sure made a hit with them. They're following you. Hey, go on back there. Your owner will be looking for you. Then why can't we take them back to the academy until her owner shows up? Oh, better not. If we leave him alone, why, he'll find his way home. there, old man. What are you doing here? Well, I told you to go on home. <laughs> Look, Frank. There's that black horse again. Dad, come on out here quick. Here's the horse we were telling you about. Say, hey, that is a beautiful animal. He looks like a thoroughbred, doesn't he? Well, if he weren't cold black, I would say he was a full-blooded Arabian. I wish we could keep him, Dad. Well, at least we can give him a home until uh, we find his owner. What a polo horse he'd make. Would I like to be the one to train him? Maybe you'll get your chance if nobody claims him. Come on. Take it easy, big boy. You'll have to get used to this saddle if you're going to be a great polo pony. That horse has plenty of spirit. He isn't going to be so easy to break. If anybody can handle him, Frank can. Frank can hold him. Keep slamming into me like you meant it. You've got to get used to riding off if it's going to be a good pull horse.
How's it working? Well, I think I'll get him his first chance tomorrow. You mean you're going to use him in the game against Crawford's team? Oh, I'll start him in one of the early chuckers, just to get him used to group riding. But it's marvelous the way you've trained him in such a short time. So wouldn't it be awful if someone uh, showed up now and claimed him? <laughs> they sure have to prove their ownership before I give him up. Bill of sale, pedigree, and what have you. <laughs> He won't give up that horse without a bona fide bill of sale. I heard him say so. After bringing that horse all the way from Sujan, I don't mean to have Bradley or anyone else take him from me. Are you sure he's going to play at the game tomorrow? Absolutely. Well, I'll get that horse and without a bill of sale. You'd better keep out of sight. If they see us together, they'll suspect. And I'm trying to help you get the horse back to Sujan. And my people will pay you well once I got horses returned to the island. And with that horse safely in my stable, it'll be hard for anybody to prove he doesn't belong to me. I could. Wheeler. Kind of surprised to see me, huh? Why, Mitchell said you were dead. Why, yes. After that black stallion finished trampling on you, I thought sure you were dead. I don't blame you. I thought I was have gone away still. Why, we never would have gone away and left you. You don't think I'd double-cross you and leave you alone on that island with all those natives? Well, I'm here now. How about my cut for helping you to get that horse? Well, the horse got away from us. But we're planning to grab him tomorrow during a polo game. Meaning what? Well, as soon as I get the horse, you boys will get the dope. But you've got to help me get him. What's the setup? Sit down. There's a polo game at Bruce Field tomorrow. using rough tactics again. You better watch his step in the next chucker. Frank will be riding that black stallion. Hello, fellow. Here's where we show him how a real polo horse works. Wait a minute, young fella. Your friend's out there playing this, Tucker. He'll be here in a minute. Come on. Anybody be lucky with a horse like this. Now, old boy. Make hey, sure you give him a good rub down. He certainly earned it. Poor young fella, go get the chamois.
Frank. You ought to be ruled out of the game. 